Yo, what up guys? It's another time for Egg Month, so I got the Eternal Battery is Dry message last time I played this, and this time I didn't. Also guys, I'm not thin today. I'm kind of thin, I'm emo, and that's always feminine to a degree, but I'm not like wearing the- I mean, I'm taking picture day tomorrow, so it's my last semester at my college, so yeah. Um, did I save? I think I did save my game. Let's see. I have eggs in my party. And oh, I can take these out. I don't need these now. Um, yeah, so I did my homework for the weekend. And I think next weekend I'm going to do Shredding Sundays on Sunday. Um, let me open up my stream on my actual channel. Let's see. I'm gonna um, open up. Click on my channel. View your channel. Here we go. Gonna have this one open. It's actually cool. You can actually see my piercings very well on the actually like on the face cam i didn't know they'd be so visible but they are i got um new snake bites um they're uh 14 gauge instead of 12 gauge i got them redone it hurt though why is my chat not loading hold on Well, it doesn't look like anyone's here. I need to make sure I wait until there's no buffering. One second. I think my stream, my stream might be lagging. I don't think so. You guys can hear me, right? Looks like it. So I'm gonna stream this until probably 12.50 and I'm gonna probably get ready for bed. people to notice this. Making a, a freaking YouTube short. I'm gonna make a YouTube short of myself. Hold on. Come on, phone. Yo, what's up guys? Pokey Guitarist Jake here. I'm um, coming at you guys with a YouTube short. I am currently streaming Shiny, Charmander, and Pokemon Emerald. Um, I bred the parents last year. They're uh, 31 Speed IV and 31 Attack IV with Jolly. Um, I found like a bunch of dittos and bred them with the Charmanders until I got one with 
I basically caught a bunch of dittos that had one of every IV, and then I just, yeah, so, um, I legitimately did it, it's not RNG abuse, um, but their egg moves are, I'll show you here, um, Belly Drum, Rock Slide, Overheat, and Aerial Ace, so, um, no perfect IVs on any of these ones, but it's not guaranteed, come enjoy my stream, and let's have a good time. I got in a full uh, shiny squirtle like this as well, so please uh, come on by and join me for the shiny hunt. I saw um, Domestic Fishy post that he was live when he was, that was pretty smart actually. He'd make a YouTube short when he was live because it gets more publicity. Up, guys? Okay. I even need to edit this. That's it. I'm not going to ask anyone to subscribe with this one, um, just because I'm actually trying to get more people here. Let's see if it gets me new viewers. Let me see. Videos. Let me see. YouTube Studio. Content. Edit. Hashtag. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna probably delete that YouTube short later, like try to do. Just wanna try to get more viewers. I said no RNG abuse. It sounded like I said so RNG abuse. No, I'm not RNG abusing. I am breeding them without RNG abuse. I 
Is there nobody in here? Is nobody in my chat? My chat's not updating. Is nobody in my chat? I don't know. It's fine, I guess. That's why I... Yeah, nobody's here. I'm on public, too. I could have put Eggmont in the title, but I mean, it doesn't, that doesn't, not in the title, they did my stream, but I mean, in the title of my short. But that doesn't really get, like, a lot of views, you know what I mean? Like, nobody on YouTube does this shit. I think if I'm done hatching eggs completely this week, um, next week I'm gonna breed some more.
I wonder if Jerry is alive. Um, I hate, I hate, I hate doing promo, dude. But Jared's a homie. Maybe I should. Mizio Jared's live first, because I don't want to do that when he's live. I didn't mean to do that when he was. I, I want. I was going to do it regardless if he was live or not. But I didn't know he was live when I did it. I want to see if he's streaming right now. Because if he is streaming, I'm not going to do it. 22 hours ago, no, he's not live right now. I think I'm going to post my link in the. Discord server and see if people want to join. Uh, I could do that on Smash Bros. stream as well. Let me grab my live stream. Not that one. Here you go. I'm gonna grab my link. Um... Oh, it's Jer. Oh, he already did. He messaged me back. That's cool. Jerry's community. My computer is also touch screen. I'm gonna do it in his. Why wow, is this self promo? I just did Jairus. I said I really like Jairus community, so that's why I said I don't normally do Discord promos, but I really like Jairus community, so I thought I'd see if anyone was interested. I can't believe there's no one here. I've been live for like how long? Dude, I've been live for 19 minutes and nobody's here. That's crazy. Oh, there's like one person watching, but they're not like. There's no people watching now. Nobody's watching. That's insane. Usually I get like at least one like one viewer in the beginning, as I had, but then they left. What up, Kevin? I'm playing old Pokemon, dude. Look at this. Um, it's a Game Boy Advance game. Oh, this one has perfect speed IVs, guys. I got one with perfect speed. It's in Spanish. Yeah, I have a Spanish enrolled. I also have an English one and two Japanese ones. 
Emerald is my favorite Pokemon game. One of them. Thank you. Good seeing you, man. Yeah, I'm playing on my GameCube. I have a Game Boy player. Yeah. See you, Kevin. Kevin's one of my chill roommate or housemates. I have two chill housemates. I had a mini meltdown today and last night. I had a meltdown while I was streaming, dude. I turned off the mic. I yelled at like two of my housemates. One of them was my roommate. I yelled at my roommate and then I yelled at my housemate. I just like do not understand that I want my brother to see him. Like Kevin's okay because he's chill. You know what I mean? And he's, it's fine if they're talking to me over here, but like if they're right next to me behind breathing down my spine when I'm streaming, like get away from me. You know, like I'm literally alive. You know what I mean? Like, stop breathing down my spine. <clears throat> like, Kevin's cool because he respects my space and vice versa. I always ask him if I can come. I didn't knock on the, I should have knocked on the door when I came in, but I don't want to wake up Jimmy. I have to use a shower in his room. Yo, what up, Braidstar, the goat, the greatest of all time? Yo, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? I'm finally back to being live, my guy. I'm finally back. I got raided, like, three times last night when doing this live stream. I did two live streams last night. I did Smash Ultimate for two hours, and then I did uh, Pokemon Emerald for two hours. And I got raided by Just Me the Guy, I got raided by Azalea, and I got raided by Common Collecting. I made 14 subscribers, and um, it was great. Oops. going well um hope you're well as well yeah i am dude i'm graduating college um that's why i'm actually streaming again because i was really trying to focus on the mindset of finishing school and no matter what i'm good now dude i'm in the clear i'm actually 100 percent graduating even if i skip out on like every single assignment mm, yeah even if no yes no maybe even if i skip every single assignment in my math class because i don't want to do I'm still graduating no matter what, so I'm actually passing my math class, and I'm I have an eighty I have an eighty percent math, which I think is for some reason he counts as an A, and I have to ask him about that. And then I have a um, eighty five percent in work experience, an eighty five percent in work experience, and then I have a probably an A minus in my digital art class. So yeah, I'm doing great. I'm doing amazing, man. I'm, Honestly, like, so happy that I went back to school because I actually really miss streaming, I think. And, um, yeah. I hope you're doing well as well, and I've been great. I've been, like, just living life off of streaming and outside of YouTube and slowly but steadily coming back here. I moved also. I think you know that I was homeless for a little bit. I've been living in uh, a different city for, like, the last... Uh, four months. It's actually a very big city here. It's not like it was where I lived before. I lived in a small town before and before that I lived in a really tiny city. But now I live in a huge city. But it's only like um, a house, like not a house, like an hour away from where I lived before. Like driving distance and bus, it's like two hours away. It's not too bad. And there's a direct route that goes over to where I used to live, so... And where I go to school, it's a direct route. It takes exactly to my college, and exactly to where I used to live, so... My college is in between the city I used to live and the town I used to live. So, it's everything still connected, even though I'm in a different county. But I am in a different county, and it's kind of nice. It's like a huge, like, mental refresh. I just feel like... I feel like... Like, I don't have to, like, prove myself to, like, anyone anymore since I don't know anyone here. And the few people I do know here, I feel like, or have, I think, like, one of them has kind of, I feel, an inflated ego a little bit. And then, um, 
the other two the other two people I know here are like kind of crazy where they're kind of stalkers well one of them is a stalker and the other one was influencing him to stalk me so um i just yeah i i, I don't need to get to know people here i have my four best friends that's all i need i do i am connected with people and i think it's sort of trying to force making new connections or being like appreciated for who i am or whatever i'll just run into people like i ran into this girl um last semester at school and I completely fell in love with her. She has a boyfriend right now, but um, it's just kind of like, that's kind of an example, just like what I'm doing, currently doing in life, allowing me to meet people instead of me meeting them like through locally, through like Instagram or Facebook, just because they're, they're, there's like so many people these days are lazy and the people who like regularly use Facebook or Instagram are just very, um, who regularly use it to get to know people are the most lazy, narcissistic people you'll ever meet. So, to be honest, I don't mean that. So, I hope you're well as well, man. I've been great. I've been really good. I hope you're doing well as, as well. And, um, if I could inspire you, if you're in a bad place, maybe you should try going to school. I wasn't in a, oh, I was in a bad place when I started, I think. I think I was fine and the moment, and then I started, and then I got in a bad place the moment I started. And then I met that girl, and then everything was good again, but then this time I had to really rely on myself, and even though me and her are good again, we've been talking again, um, we're not like, you know, flirting or anything, she has a boyfriend, but even though we're talking again, it's all good, dude, because she's happy, and I'm happy for her, and I'm really proud of myself for doing such a good job on my own this time, being self-reliant. I feel like the students, the wave of students this semester are a lot nicer than last semester. There's a lot of like really rude people last semester at school. Um, yo, what up, Kill Chain? How's it going? Blue hair, yeah, I just dyed it. It was, um, it was really like nasty green for a while. I was trying to wait and then I got it bleached and then it like was like this nasty like silver blue color. But it's because the light colors um, on my hair turn into um, this, uh, so the light colors turn into a really washed out color and the dark colors, this is supposed to be a dark blue. This is super bright blue because she used a 10 instead of a seven. So all the, bright, the, the, all the dark colors turn out super vibrant and I already have a color that I like. And then um, it looks even better with the, so I'm actually really, and it, she didn't destroy my hair as much since she used a 10 instead of a seven. Also, um, I know that, like, I don't normally mod for mod, but I need more moderators. So if you want to, um, if you want to mod for me, I appreciate it. So I don't get this. Managing moderator can block word, manage block words, and change chat modes. No, I don't like that. Can we do remove messages or hide users or put them in timeout? Let's do that one. I need more moderators, so I don't normally do that, but, um, I just, you know, I figured, like, it's not really mod for mod, but it's just like, you know, one of those things is like, you didn't have to mod me, you know, I'm hardly ever around. I've been going to school, finishing school. I could do a Jesse James costume. Oh, Jesse, like, do you mean, uh, Jesse and James from Team Rocket? I could. I mean, technically, like, if I do this, like, if it's, like, not, um, if I have my hair out of my face. It's not like, um, if it was all blue, I would look totally like James. You're right. I'm doing picture day tomorrow. I've been, um, actually, I've been, uh, kind of emo, and I've been, um, we're not emo, I've been super thin. I've had, like, been super gender fluid lately, and I've been putting on lipstick and, like, wearing mini skirts and stuff and having my hair out of my face, but. Um, for tomorrow, um, I'm doing picture day, and my friend who passed away, his sister, his sister, he's seeing his sister, his cousin, wants to hang out with me tomorrow, um, and we're gonna go to one of his fa favorite spots that he liked, so, um, I think out of honor for him, I'm gonna look more emo tomorrow, and plus I want this, I wanted this to wear this hoodie when I take my picture, but I'm wearing my Hot Topic pants, and my ghost type hoodie, and under my ghost type hoodie, um, I have my Iron Aiden shirt from the Trooper, 
so, yeah, I'm just trying to be like, I wanted to wear my Dragon Ball Z stuff, but it's in my storage unit, and I don't have time to get out of it. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. But yeah, dude, I, it's like different every day with me. Or like, you know, today I'm more, even though I'm shaved, I'm more like masculine. And other days I'll be more feminine, you know, it's always like some, I also got my Pokemon belt on. I'm trying to mix the Pokemon with the metal, you know? I gotta wear Pokemon something every time. I can't just leave the house without wearing Pokemon, you know what I mean? Not only do I play Pokemon, but I wear it. But yeah, so, um, yeah, I, the, the, the hair dye that I have, that I've had for a while is actually working even better for me, which is nice. Also, if you're wondering, I am playing this on a GameCube. Um, I showed it last night, but I'll show it again maybe next time I stream. I mean, I could show it toward the end of the stream, but I have a, I'm using a, I'm using a GameCube. I have a Game Boy player, so I'm using that to stream my Game Boy DS games. You could also use a Nintendo DS capture card, and I think the DS capture cards are not hard to get hold of. Um, they're pretty easy compared to the 3DS. But yeah. So I'm thinking like how I'm gonna like do it for egg month. Cause like I'm busy with school and work and I like to collect my eggs all in like one setting. So maybe if I hatch all my eggs before next Saturday, that I'll spend next Saturday um, collecting them. And maybe if I don't get all of them, then I'll do it some more Sunday morning. And then yeah. Should be fine. I got all these eggs on recording actually somewhere. Um, I um I got all these eggs like last year. They're they're eggs that I didn't hatch this year, so I might have a shiny waiting for me. I don't know. I should get to two thousand eggs, bred at least, not hatched. I don't know if I can hatch them all by the end of this month. I might be able to, but I'm only going to be able to, like, breed 400 eggs just because I've been busy with school. You know what I mean? That's one of those things where, you know, it's like I could get lucky still. I don't think I hatched all of these. I think, I don't think I hatched all of them. I really don't think I did. I think I remember, like, doing some egg hatching off screen, but... Or like I was doing the Pomeg thing off screen at one point. I don't think I did. I don't think I... I, I really don't think I did it with this one. Because they're all warmed up and ready to hatch fast. <clears throat> I think I can warm them up. Warm up the eggs while I'm at work and while I'm doing school. But I don't want to like breed them all off screen. stream. Because I'd rather do it in one setting. Dude, this hot girl finally hit me up on Facebook dating, dude. Like, I was kind of like, um... Oh, shit, she did message me back. No, not her. Somebody else. It was somebody from my class. Let me see what she said. Okay, um, let's see. Um, guys, um, I'm gonna mute my mic really quick. I gotta text one of my classmates. We, uh, we help each other out in class. One second.
Yeah, I was talking to a student in my class. We, were, we help each other. Um, I'm glad she messaged me back. I'm glad she's still enrolled in the class. Um, I was worried she also dropped out, but uh, I'm pretty self-reliant now in the class. Um, yeah, this really hot girl added me on friggin' on a uh, where she like she like, I got matched up with her on Facebook dating, and then she. Uh, she took forever to get back to me, and then said that I should message her on her public Instagram, or her actual, like, personal Facebook, or not her personal Facebook, but her Facebook, you know? And, um, so I'm hoping that goes well. I kind of said a lot, but, you know what, if she doesn't get back to me, I don't care, because I kind of don't need her anyways. It's just, like, it'll be cool, you know? But I'm also kind of waiting, and I'm letting things come at me, so if it doesn't work out, I'm not going to freak out about it. I'm not even going to really care. She's super hot, but I don't care, dude. I just don't care anymore. I actually told myself I was not trying to be celibate, but I was trying to be abstinent this month. <clears throat> Celibacy is uh, not having sex due to religion, and like abstinence is just like not having sex by choice. And I honestly kind of want to wait because I don't really want to. Like I don't know if she wants to, then I'm down. But if she doesn't want to, then I don't care because I have nothing to lose. You know, I was told I should wait. Look at this awesome, um, I just got it recently. Um, look at this awesome, um, Nintendo Switch Pro controller. It's, um, a Hori pad fighter, a Hori fighter pad, um, and actually has those shoulder buttons are actually very similar to the Switch instead of being similar to the GameCube. I noticed the ones that like have GameCube like bumpers, they're not very good. And they're super fragile. This controller seems way better um, than any of the freaking um what's that brand called? Um Power A or like any other Switch Pro controller I've tried that one is honestly the best one um it uh, it dies really quick but it's worth it um it's because it charges and um it just it's it's it feels nice and i have a wired one too they still link the wired ones but they stopped making the wireless ones i think a lot of the wireless controllers that were third party um had issues so nintendo told a lot of those companies to stop making them and sadly hori was one of the ones that was affected by it but wireless or wired, I still like it. The battery life just isn't, like, accurate. It's not. Yeah. It's a cool controller, though. It works really well. It even works good for Smash. It feels good. The bumpers feel good. Like, it feels better than the Switch Pro, the official Nintendo controller. Um, I think it's the best GameCube-style controller I've ever used on the Switch. <clears throat> And this controller, they don't make them anymore, so it was like friggin' over $100 and it shipped from Australia. It was brand new. Dude, I saw so many people having luck with 8 months. I wish I would have done it sooner, but I really, like in the beginning of the month, I had to get my exam done. I'm honestly okay with just doing this, like, I'm okay with just hatching, or just breeding, like, 420 eggs. You know, I had school, man. And my other, right, my Shadow Raikou right hunt is just way more important to me. I think everyone left. It's okay. Yeah, it says I have, like, zero people. No, two, three likes, okay. I don't know, maybe they're just lurking. I just gotta talk to myself forever. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> I wonder how my YouTube shorts doing. I uh, posted a short that I was live. I just want to see if it's gotten any traction. But I guess it's a chill night. I got zero views. What the hell, dude? Really? How does that get zero views? 
Did it's like an it's like it's like YouTube actually blocked me from getting views since I freaking what the hell? How did that not get in the search? I put hashtags and everything, dude. What the fuck? I was pointless. How did that not get any views? That doesn't make sense. I put hashtags. I fucking. I don't know what else they want me to do. I don't know what they want me to do there, you know? I think they're purposefully just making it, since I got a lot of subscribers, they're purposefully like, trying to lower my views or trying to get hype me from people's sub boxes. I'm like, come on, YouTube. I literally just started streaming again. Can you guys stop making it hard for me, please? Like, that's fucked up. Like, you guys are making it hard for me when I just came back from... I feel like YouTube literally is like, oh, you made a bunch of subscribers randomly. Here, let's remove some subscribers and let's uh, let's go ahead and also um, hide you from other people's sub boxes. Thanks, YouTube. I appreciate it so much for that. I don't do this for the views, but you know, knowing that I'm growing off doing something that makes me happy is great. Damn it, YouTube. Ugh, whatever. Maybe I'll try again. Maybe maybe I'll just post um, Shiny Charmander trying to get it or something. Let me see. Here, one second. Um, I'm going to photos. I gotta get back to this class beta mine as well. Just because I want to get back to her. So I don't want to be rude. Here, one second. Um, I'm gonna make a new video. Why is my, why is my phone screen blurry? It wasn't earlier. Yo guys, what is up? Pogi guitarist Jake here. I'm currently live streaming Shiny Charmander in Pokemon Emerald. I know it sounds pointless, but basically... Um, I am playing this on a GameCube. I, um, have possible 31 IVs on it. This one does not have 31. Um, neither of these do. Um, but yeah. 31 IVs in both attack and speed and jolly nature. 50% jolly. I think it's 1 in 16 for both, uh, perfect IVs and attack and speed. I caught a bunch of dittos in the cave. I think I caught like 31 dittos and like two of them had the IVs that I wanted for 31 attack. So I just kind of chain bred them. And the egg moves are um, Belly Drum, Rock Slide, Overheat, and Aerial Ace. Please join my live stream. Deuces. Maybe I'll add some music. I'm trying to get people to notice it, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna delete that YouTube short because it did nothing. I'm gonna copy this first. Edit. Co select all. Copy. Select all. Uh, I don't even. That doesn't even matter. Cause I'm gonna delete it.
I can't believe it didn't get any views. That's actually ridiculous. Delete. There we go. Okay, let's do it again. I'm gonna add music, but I'm gonna turn it down. Well, I'm gonna turn down my mic. Just because I don't want to get a copyright notice for the music that's about to play. Yo, what up, Iron Prince? How's it going, dude? 
I'm sorry for the late response. I was um, trying to notify more people. I know, dude. Yo, check out the egg news. It's in Spanish, but it has um, belly drum, uh, uh, rock slide, overheat, and um, aerial ace. I hope you're still here, dude. Sorry I missed your um, your your uh, comment just now. Appreciate you showing up. Oh, I got five likes now too. Let's go. Awesome. Sorry, I'm just uploading a YouTube short. I'm trying to notify my viewers about um, my stream. So I'm gonna mute this mic again because I got copyright notice.
Sorry for the way I've been, um, I was messaging my classmate. Um, she's actually falling behind, and I thought I wasn't smart enough for this math class, but I learned I am. So, I'm actually able to help her, which is great. Shiny Charmander? Get that Shiny Charmander. I know, right? Are you still here, Iron Prince? I'm sorry, dude. I was trying to edit a YouTube short for my live stream. And then I was trying to, um, <clears throat> then I was trying to, um, I, just, I'm, I hope I'm not still muted. No, I'm not. I was trying to edit a short for my live stream, and then I was talking to my roommate's helper, and then I was, um, messaging voice to text a classmate of mine. So. <clears throat> I'm trying to get noticed on my... YouTube short so that I can get new viewers possibly or just notify my current subscribers that I'm live. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna private it later because it's not like content, you know, it's just letting people know, hey, I'm live. I saw uh, Domestic Fishy do that, it was smart. Sorry, I um, tried to raid you. I had like 27 or 21 people in my chat when I was done, but I guess they were all done. It was kind of late for most people. It wasn't super late for me, but you know, it was late for most people, so. Sorry about that. Well, since I'm not getting any more responses, I might turn off my mic for now. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I- no, I won't. I wanna see how this is doing. Oh, what? Dashboard? I got three views, that's doing decent now. Three views in ten minutes. It's not that good, but it's not that. Okay, that'll get in somebody's sub box for sure. Not sub box, it'll get in my sub box probably. So, not this paycheck, but the 20, let's see, this Tuesday, next Tuesday, and the Tuesday after, I need to hold on to that paycheck. So, I need to hold on to my paychecks for three weeks until I know what's going on. Bro, I'm actually tryharding to get views. I feel stupid for that. I'm so dumb for that, dude. Like, I'm like, oh, I don't care about views, and then all of a sudden I do. But it's because I just fell out of it with, like, streaming. I just didn't care as much about, like, the publicity. And I still want to get known through, like, doing something on my own versus getting other people's help. But when you're live, you can't really help getting other people's help. They're going to help you no matter what. 
So I shouldn't really worry about it too much. Let's see if there's any other people, any other communities that I can hit up. I know a Blitz. I'm gonna try Blitz again. Um, he has a self promo tag. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna message him and also ask him if it's okay. I talked to him, just me the guy when I did it in his. Let's see. Where the hell is Blitz? What does his profile look like? Um. What the hell? Is this Blitz? No, these are all. What the hell? I'm confused. Is that Blitz? No, that's Retro. That's also Retro. Dude. I don't know where anyone is. Oh, here he is. I forgot. Self promo. Might see a boy gaming all I doubt he does. Oh, he gets it. Bro, it's fun. This is literally the salt promo. Okay, he's fine. He's fine with it. I don't have the room. Stream. Or not his live stream, is uh. Let's see, what, what other places can I go? I said I didn't care about self promo. Let's see if Wee, Wee Gaming has a self promo. I doubt he does. No, he doesn't. That's all good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't blame him. To be honest, like, it's nice that people. But at the same time, like, I want to grow myself too, you know? Like, on my own terms. Okay, that should be good enough. Well, real cyber army. Eh, I feel like some people would think I was weird. I'm gonna hurt his message. He messaged me, I didn't see it. I'm hardly ever on here. Yo, what up, Stargamer X? How's it going? Yo, what up? I know I've been going to school and working, so I've been kind of like um, not active, but I'm passing my math class, and I wanted to know where I stood in my math class before I went live. I'm graduating college, so I only had two semesters left, and uh, I came back. And I started missing, genuinely missing streaming, so I'm back for good, I think. We all have burnouts, but I actually went back to school because of my burnout. How have you been? <clears throat> I streamed Smash last night and I streamed this and then I think tomorrow I'm doing Shredding Sundays. November, September I first came to your channel with Super Luigi. Oh really? That's right, the finale. Yeah, I think that was, um, I was also going to school then too, but I was more active and I Kinda of has to do with this being my last semester, so me not really knowing, like, and not to mention, like, when I moved and stuff, it's been a lot harder to do Mario Mondays. Yo, what's up, Marcus? Yo, dude, you have a good night, too. Thanks for stopping by. 
Thanks for the quick stop by. I really appreciate it, dude. Thanks for seeing you too, man. Um, yeah, Star Gamer. Um, I uh, been I'm going to school and. Um, it was easier for me to actually do Mario Mondays considering I'd get home at a certain time or I'd stay up late from Sunday going into Monday to do it at mid, like in the morning um, before I had to leave to school. But um, now it's like um, I have school at, um, I have school on um, like in the, in the afternoon and I don't come home until late because I'm in the math lab. So. I can't really do Mario Mondays until I graduate, but I'll be doing it soon. In May, probably. Mid, late May. Yo, you have a good night, Marcus. Thanks for the compliment. I appreciate it. Good, uh, are you going to work? Yeah, work tomorrow. Good luck at work. I have school tomorrow. But I don't have to, I'm going to still wake up early because I'm going to try to do picture day. And try to get my picture taken, so I kind of want to leave the house earlier. Um, I just did my hair and everything, so it would look good for that. So, um... Yeah, man, you have an amazing night, Marcus, and good luck on school. Or good luck on work. Good luck on work, dude. We you know you do great, but I know what it's like to go to bed early and or earlier than normal. Been good, man. Just finished streaming. Oh, you did? That's oh, cool. I've been playing Mario Party. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. I'm trying to remember because I, I I think you might have changed your name. I, I always act like I know people or remember them. Oh wow, 769 subs? Wow. Damn, dude! You play Smash too? Holy shit! Yo! Hold on. Wait, bro. Why am I not sub to you? Let me see your live. Let me look at your live tab. Damn, dude! Wow! Why am I not sub to you? What the hell? And you reacted to the. Wow, okay. I'm sorry. Wow, okay, thank you. Well, um, I'm sorry I didn't know you were a, a YouTuber. I just supported you back. That's cool you play Mario. I like Superstars the most. I think Superstars is the best Mario Party. GG's. I didn't know you were a streamer. That's cool. And don't worry about, like, ever bringing that up in my chat, because I'm not one of those people like, Ooh, stop talking about what you do on your channel. This is my channel. This is my post. Like, I hate that shit. Like, just... Like, like, you know, like, I hate when people add like that. This one girl was like, back off, this is my post. That was like local, it was hilarious. It wasn't even to me, it was to somebody else. But it was fun because it was so prissy and so dumb and just ridiculous. I mean, he, like, she asked, what kind, hey guys, what kind of piercing should I get? And somebody else was like, what kind of piercing do you think I should get? And she's like, back on, this is my post. I was back on Facebook. Well, no, I think what, um, what my, I think I just, it's been a while and I haven't been active. Um, I always, like, like, especially when I'm, like, um, when I'm like, uh, what is it? But it's been a while. I, I don't want to act like I don't remember you because I don't like when people do that to me. So every time somebody come in, comes in here and they're like, hey man, how've you been? How've you been, bro? Have you been, bro? I'm like, I've been good, man. How've you been? Even though if I didn't remember them, you know what I mean? Or like, I'm not saying I don't remember you. Like, I just, you know, sometimes because it, it would be a while since I've been live, that's my fault. So, like, I always go into my streams like, I know everyone, because I hate when they, when I'm like, hey, don't you remember me? Like, no. And they don't even ask any questions. They don't even try to, like, dig into it. They're just like, no, I don't remember you. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. You know. Star Gaming time, which is not me. Oh, really? From another Mario Slugger. Oh, you play Mario Sluggers, like, obsessively? That's cool. I need to stream Mario Kart. I want to do Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as its own separate streaming series. Yo, what up, Retro? How's it going? I will refrain from calling your you by your first name. If that's what you want. I will, we're, I will try my best to remember that for now. Since you feel like you don't want that exposed. How have you been, man? I feel you on that. I, I I saw I saw Sephiroth on your channel, your channel. Uh, what's it called uh, when you have like a video that plays? 
your channel or something. I used to have one on my old channel. I never made one for this one. I did Smash Saturdays yesterday. Um, I don't think it'll hide me putting in my Discord. My Discord tag. Let me see. Let me see if it's still the same number if they permanently changed it. Because they changed the names of Discord. They're like, oh, let's change your name. Let's update your name. And then I finally forced it. Let me see. What's my name? Did it change my name? It just got rid of the hashtag. Why? Why did it get rid of the hashtag? It got rid of the hashtag. I guess I'll copy the username. I don't know if that'll do anything. See if you can find me on uh, Twitter, or not Twitter, Discord. I also abbreviated Discord. Mario Kart 64. My favorites are Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Double Dash. Those are my favorite Mario Karts. Mario Kart 8 is really good too. It was really bad when it first came out on the Wii. It was awful. It was probably the worst Mario Kart game of all time when it first came out on the Wii U. And even with the Wii U DLC, it still was one of the worst. But then uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was better because of the Deluxe items, so you can actually have more of a chance of defending yourself against items instead of like having to stay in second place in order to get in first place. You can actually front run easier. But um, it's still annoying how coins are like 70% chance. Your, your chance of getting a coin is literally 70% and I think that bananas and green shells are like 15% both when you're in first place. No, they're 15? No. I think they're... Bananas I think are 15 and I think shells are 10. I mean, I think Super Horn is like 5, or maybe one of them is like 19. Wait, somebody's calling me. Retro, I, I don't want to talk right now. I'm sorry, man. On the, on the Discord. I, I don't want to, I don't, uh, I don't want to talk right now. Let me, um, let me at you here. Uh, let me see. I don't want a voice call right now. But some other time. There you go. Okay, I was letting you know, man. Um, yeah, it was a YouTube intro, yeah. Or it's like the the trailer or whatever it's called, whatever they do. Oh, oh, you did. Oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't for some reason, I didn't remember seeing you. Um, I just didn't remember seeing you. Like, I don't know why. Like, I, I, I you almost always remember everyone. But like, um, I'm sorry I didn't sub until now, man. Your channel's awesome. And you're doing really good. You're like 700 subs. That's awesome. You're not even that far behind me. You'll definitely catch up to me, for sure. Pokemon's pretty dead right now. It's probably better streaming it on Twitch. Because like, at least like, you got the full lots community to go to when Scarlet and Violet dies, or when Sword and Shield dies, or when Legends whatever dies. The new Pokemon games on the Switch die so fast. Remember when like Sun and Moon came out and X and Y came out? And Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out? That shit never died. And Volods doesn't die either, it's just the Switch games have don't have the same magic. Yeah, we can do that sometime, Artro, just not tonight. Oh that's right! That's you. That's you. Okay. Well they have a new Skylanders game coming out. That's right, now I remember you. Thanks for bringing that up. Now I, I, I remember now. Yeah. I remember that. I don't, those are all in my storage unit now. At some point I'm gonna have to dig them out when that new game comes out. I don't know if they're gonna put it on Switch though. I don't think they already, the Switch is so like, they probably will actually. But the Switch version will probably be definitive compared to like PS5 and Xbox Series X. Oh no, it's okay. You know, we don't have to um, apologize about. Um, even if it's just you rating, dude, it's fine. Oh, yeah, it makes sense though. Like, you know what I mean? It does make sense though. Um, it does make sense to me though. Um, if you guys uh, want to subscribe to my homie, feel free to subscribe to him. I'll plug you in, dude. Guys, go feel free to subscribe to this guy. 
Also, um, I'll plug in Retro as well. I would plug in Marcus, but I feel like he wouldn't want that, you know? So, I'd have to ask him. Coffee. Guys, go sub to Retro as well. Or, he right now he's going by the Alkyria Star Gamer. So, go to him as well. Oh, he's also a Star Gamer. Damn. What the hell? He's also a Star Gamer right now. Usually it was Retro Blink Gamer Star, Gaming Star, but he changes his name a lot. There's a lot of Star Gamers. He's a Star Gamer as well. Um, I didn't think about that until just when I plugged him in. I call him Retro though, because usually he's Retro Blank Star Gamer. I can't really say his first name right now. He doesn't want that, so. Go subscribe to each other, guys. Boost each other's sub counts. Yeah, Scarlet and Violet hella died, though. It's harder to get views on YouTube shorts as well for them. Sometimes some of my shorts have been um, getting, gradually getting views, though. Like, my, instead of getting all the views right away, I'll get them gradually. Like, my shiny, my tip of vaulting went from, like, only 30-something views to, like, 700. Just gradually. And then my Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh... Rosalina's Ice Squirrel Mushroomless Shortcut in the beginning, uh, beginning skit, um, got, went from like only having 500 views to 3,900 views gradually, so, you know, let's, let's get in there. I kind of want to start playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe online, even on my own terms. But I might actually like start streaming Mario Kart. Mondays too. Maybe I'll do Mario Kart Mondays every other Monday. It'll be its own streaming series aside Mario Mondays. Dude, the Cat Cruiser might be better than the Teddy Buggy online because it has a slightly higher invincibility stat and um. It doesn't matter, the hitbox size difference doesn't matter because you get lag trailed online constantly, from what I know, so it's like, Cat Cruiser might actually be more viable online because of the higher invincibility stat. And the fact of the Cat Cruiser, you can also um, have a bigger hitbox, so it's easier to grab points with it than Teddy Buggy. Yo, you have a good one, Matt. Take care. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I got this shirt on um, on Facebook, of all things. I think I actually saved the link for it, so I could hopefully order it again. It's such good quality. It's really, I was shocked how good the quality is. I washed it so many times, and it's still so good. Thank you. You have a good night, Mac. Or Mac? <laughs> Matt. I was looking at your last name. Mac Procopec. Have a good night, Matt. Um, take care, and um, thanks for stopping by. It's only 11.08 for me, but um, I'm ending at 12.50 so I can get ready for bed. Because I have school tomorrow and I also don't want to disturb my housemates super late, you know. I have curfew here and I need to respect it. I know, right? It was crazy. Usually, I my, my mom even said, I'm surprised that shirt came in, hun. Usually you order stuff like that and you get scammed. It's not even like... You don't even get it. Yeah, it's insane. <clears throat> I'm gonna look at my YouTube video. My friend, my best friend sent me a message. Hmm. Um, one second, I'm gonna send my best friend a message really quick. I told him about um
I was messaging my friend about Mario Kart. I saw a Mario Kart video and last time we played he used um, gold metal Mario. I oh, know I think he's metal Mario with the uh, teddy buggy and I just saw that it's like the worst. He's actually the worst character in the game. Which is funny because I really saw another video saying that metal Mario was like the second most viable. No, I said he's the worst. Never mind. Lurking while I fall asleep. No worries. Woke up on a random... Oh, I think that was, um... What was that? Oh, that's weird. It must have not been Iron Prince, because I don't... I'm the rating thing on. Like, when you sit in viewer, I think, stream redirect. I don't have that on. So, I usually just plug in the person. But stream redirect is better, so people who are lurking get sent to that person. So I should probably turn that on, but, uh... Um, yeah. I should probably enable that, because then, like, I could put a link, but then also I could redirect, so then um, people who are lurking actually get to that person's stream as well. Um, yeah, so you must have had autoplay on. Mario Kart Super Circuit, that's one of the only ones I don't... I mean, technically, I kind of own it now on the Switch, but I don't own a physical copy of it. That's the only one I never really had growing up. I played it, but I did, when I played it, I didn't like it. When I, I played it at this, uh, my brother, my brother's basketball games, there's this girl that had a Game Boy Advance and she had like Super Mario Advance and she had Mario Kart Super Circuit. And I played both, but I did not like, um, I really did not like Super Circuit. I thought it controlled really bad. I had this game called Shrek Swamp Kart Racing, which actually, in my personal opinion, controls very similarly to Mario Kart Super Circuit. Basically, when I played Shrek Swamp, or when I played Super Circuit, I was like, dude, the controlling in this game literally feels like Shrek Kart Super Circuit, or Shrek Swamp Kart Super Circuit, or Shrek, Shrek Swamp Kart Circuit, whatever it was called. No, Shrek Swamp Kart Racing. Literally, Mario Kart, Super Circuit, like when I played Super Circuit, I was like, this feels just like Shrek Swamp Kart Racing, but I think that Shrek Swamp Kart Racing isn't even that much worse or better than Mario Kart Super Circuit, just because they both control the same, and if anything, Shrek Swamp Kart Racing might be better because of the fact that there's no coins, so... Yeah, it makes it worse. I like Mario Kart still sometimes better with friends for sure. And sometimes it's like that with Smash, because sometimes it's really easy to get mad when you're playing randoms online. Especially on Quick Play Elite Smasher for Glory back in the day. What up, dude? That's my leg cracking. My ankle is like messed up. It's not messed up. Do I want one more cup of coffee? I think I do. I think I do want one more cup of coffee. I'm gonna um, grab a, another cup of coffee. You guys can look at my shiny slugma. Be right back. Damn it. I need to clear off this space again. I need to screen it too much. way too much shit around my legs. There's another, there is another Scar Gamer I know, right? We were just talking about that. Oh, um, well, I know why he changed his name. He only changed his name like three times. It wasn't like, it was, I knew it wasn't him, but I just brought it up to you because I didn't remember like you were until you were out the Skylanders, but I don't like admitting I don't remember people. 
Because people have done that to me on streams or in real life. They're like, I don't remember you. I don't remember you. And they don't take any effort to like remember who you are. So what I do is like, anytime I don't remember somebody, um, and I don't remember you because I remember that conversation we had, but every time I don't remember somebody, I, uh, I always, yeah, of course, dude. You subbed him too? Nice. He probably subbed you back. Um, he's got a little bit of drama going on, but I think that, you know, he's just, I accept him. And he just has a lot of people bullying him, basically. Um, it's not his fault. Well, it can be. It's not his fault. I think that some of those people are just dicks, to be honest. And, um... Retro, if you don't mind me sharing this, if you do mind me sharing this, I can always edit it out. Um, I actually have, um, high-functioning autism. And Retro does, he's on the spectrum as well. Um, but he's like, he's actually super high-functioning as well, but I feel like his social, his functioning in terms of social IQ is a lot lower. Not a lot lower, he knows how to socialize and express himself, but, um, I feel like, um, in terms of uh, so understanding like certain things like it's harder for him and he gets he overreacts a lot to things and then like people just keep being dicks basically i feel like you know, i feel sad for him you know because it's like people shouldn't be mean to him and i thought that like some of the stuff that people got mad about was like kind of just ridiculous because if you ever made a video calling me out for something i didn't do they would be, I would just probably like laugh and be like, yo, let's talk about this. I think you misunderstood or something. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know. I think some of these people are just kind of assholes, to be honest. I'm um, like, some of them are funny, but like, they're kind of fucking dicks. I mean, bro, you're like, you're dogging down on a fucking autistic guy that literally has a fucking disability. Like if, if you did it with me, I would want to have a voice call. I would be winning. Because I know how to speak up for myself, and I know how to roast people, I know how to call people out for their bullshit. And there's a lot of things that I could call out any of those people over. Like, I mean, bro, you're dogging down, you're trying to get publicity off an autistic person. Like, it's fucking weird, dude. I'm thank you for letting me share it and being okay with that. I mean, at least somebody's talking about you like the way I am you know I'm like you have plugged yourself in I'm gonna be honest you shamelessly you have plugged yourself in my channel but you've only done it like one time and I asked you not to and you haven't done it since you know what I mean and even if you did I wouldn't be mad because I just know how that's how you are most people aren't like that but that's how you are it's like as you can help it but it doesn't matter to be to be honest um I did not, no, I didn't get you mixed up is what I was saying. I was trying to tell you I didn't get you mixed up with him. Exactly, yeah. I mean, I, I was just telling, because I'm, I was nonverbal until I was like six, and I have all this other shit. Like, you guys don't see it, but I talk to myself sometimes, I sell stim. When my roommate's out here, I go in my room, and, um... I literally like listen to music and like pace in my room and drink coffee and jump a lot and shake buildings. I use Earthquake. I use TM, my, my strongest move is TM26 Earthquake, especially when I need to stim. What up, Kevin? Mm -hmm. I'll see you around then. But yeah, I know I have like stimming things I do and stuff. So, you know, I'm also it's like it's like you have to like live with me to like know the autism. Like some people you can just kinda of see it or like know that they are on the spectrum without like needing to like even live with them, you know, but like basically if you saw me in public, even though I'm autistic, you probably think I'm like schizophrenic. I used to like to be told by my mom to like not talk to myself in public, so I wouldn't do it in public, but my anxiety has been so bad as an adult that I'd do it again. I started talking to myself at work. Oh no, no, it was um no it was uh, it was retro. It was retro. It was just like one time or 
it was Valkyrie I started aiming. It was like one time, it wasn't a big deal. But I think that's why people get weird with them. It's like, oh, we helped you grow, and then you, da 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 da. And it's like, bro, like he's just like that. If you ask him one time, don't do it. Let me plug you in. He listened to me. You know what I mean? He doesn't. It's it's not even that big of a deal. I find it. I don't know. Like there's some people who are like kind of funny about it, but it's like it's still kind of a dick for like bullying an autistic guy that's like not as socially like coherent you know like he's smart as hell for sure he's a good guy good guy retro you know like but like man some people are just dicks to be honest i i how it too hmm i how it too you have it too you have emerald Yep, I'm playing in Spanish though. Yeah, I got you. Thanks. Oh, I think she meant autism. Are you on the spectrum as well? That's cool. I appreciate you showing up to my stream. I know I don't seem autistic, but I am, and I'm not one of those I, I'm autistic. I just got diagnosed when I turned 27, 26. I'm uh, literally I was nonverbal when I until I was six and. I was a little more severe back in like elementary school, middle school, high school. I used to be this weird kid that like have the fat Nintendo DS in my pocket. I'd sit there and take a fart on people's actual tabletops on their desks. I'd be like, what's up, James? I'd sit on his desktop and just fart. I used to wear bright colored clothes and all that. And when I became an adult, things were harder when I first went to college because like everybody was like mean to me and would make fun of me in my face. And then they'd ask me, when Pokemon X and Y came out, they'd ask me for like, hidden ability, like six IV Pokemon and get them for them. And then they'd sit and laugh there, laugh at me when it was like, not trending anymore. They're all fucking assholes. Um, well, glad to meet you, D. Um, you know, you don't have to subscribe or anything, but if you want to uh, support my channel, feel free. If not, it was very nice meeting you. Very nice meeting another autistic person. Really? Yeah, you know what? Um, Iron Prince, you might want to, I mean, I if you got checked for it, even though you're older, you might want to see if you can have, like, a psycholo psychology visit and see if you are on the spectrum, because I can actually see that, man, um, to be honest, and with you, I would believe it, you know, um, for sure, like, you're, you know, like, another thing, not just, like, how you dress and express yourself, but even, like, you tend to get fixated on topics or things like I'm very fixated with Pokemon. I'm very fixated with other Nintendo games and other old school games. I get really obsessive over certain games and I am not super obsessed with metal, but I love metal as well um, and guitar and I, um, I you get very, okay, so this girl, I'm going to keep on down those since an egg is hatching. This, this girl I like, and she has a boyfriend right now, but she told me last time I talked to her that I, or two times ago that I talked to her, that I get really hyper fixated over things, and I don't think that she just meant like over my bad thoughts. I just think she meant over everything. So I get hyper fixated over girls. I get ever I hyper fixated over my guitar and my video games, and I think talking to her even helped me learn more about myself and honestly I should probably tell her that or maybe I should show this to her and no obviously what time is it on here let me see 140 so it's like the 140 mark 140 11 yeah I should show her obviously I shouldn't have said I like her she has a boyfriend right now, it doesn't matter, but, um, I mean, it's just like, sometimes I feel like things need to see said in person instead of through text message or, like, email or social media, you know? Sometimes it's good to verbally let somebody, I mean, I just said say it on social media, but it's like I vocally said it, I verbally said it, and it's like something that I feel like she needs to hear verbally. 
actually helped me learn more about myself. And I very much appreciate that. Because I didn't realize a hyper fixated could mean like over some good things too, but it's an autistic trait, you know, and like something that I knew about but I forgot about. You know? Oh, when I discovered Blitz? Um, so I raided him, I think. Yeah, I raided him when he was doing his Shiny Tyrant video, or Shiny Hunt back in the day. He bred over a thousand eggs only, and he just kind of gave up. And then he got it finally after like, a, I think, almost 2,000 eggs. And he got two Shinies, but that was like literally when he didn't have as much patience to go over odds. But he got it. But it was like basically like when he first, a little after he first started streaming. We all started around the same time. Pertaining to everything of, yeah. Oh, game theory, yeah. Is he also autistic? Yeah, but it's like great that you know I can like actually even like be friends with girls that have like boyfriends still as long as like with a nice guy because it's like obviously the asshole dudes are the ones who like try to strip the girl apart from like the guys who actually fucking care they strip the first person they go through are the guys and then they go through the friends and then they take her away from her family you know that's what they do I'm gonna straighten my hair a little bit I wish my freaking flat iron was like higher up. Mm. I'm gonna spike my hair tomorrow. like hard sometimes like it's actually so much easier just like not having my hair in my face and like I feel better doing that when I'm more like feminine like I have the whole like emo thing going on otherwise and to be honest I feel like me being like all girly and shit is so much easier because it's easier to keep my hair looking the way it does the way I want it to or it's okay, it's easier for me to like let it look a different way. Cause I already feel pretty, you know what I mean? I'm not really like into this anymore, like... Am I into this anymore? Like it's... I don't know if I'm into that anymore. Am I into that anymore? Am I into like... Dude, I feel like I need to accept that my style is changing a little bit. Like, I, I need to accept it. I need to accept it, like I really do. You know, like I need to accept it for what it is. And I've had so many girls say, hey man, I really wanna see your face. And like, I think I really need to, I think I really need to let it, let it change. I've changed so many times in my life, you know, that I just don't want to change anymore. I don't need to change my personality, but if things about my looks have to change, then they gotta change, you know? It's kind of hard, man. It's like, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I like having the whole emo thing, but I'm just not feeling it anymore. Like with the the hair like and covered one eye and covering half of my face, I'm just I'm just not feeling it. And when I straighten it, it looks really fluffy. 
like it still looks really good like this you know and i still got the side bangs i still got the like it's like out of my face you know it's like out of my face i just feel like so much but like season i like wearing makeup because i feel like like eyeliner and stuff and i can still wear eyeliner and have like normal guy outfits but i just feel like i'm starting to become more like i'm starting to be, get more like just morphic over having my hair like in my face like this you know like yo what up guys poke guitars jake here i'm emo my whole half of my face is being covered by my hair I don't know if I want that anymore, but then it's like, I'm like this and it's still not enough. You know what I mean? I don't know what to do. And I have picture day tomorrow. And I don't want to wear makeup for my picture day. You know, like, I think. It's like, what do I want? What do I need? Maybe I'll spike up my hair tomorrow and see how I feel. But if I'm not feeling it, I need to get it done. And if I have to keep it on my face just to feel a certain way, maybe what I could do is have some of it kind of in my face when we the picture day, but it could look like super fluffy like this. I like how this looks and how this fluffs out, but like, I'm changing now, like my style again. And I think I need to be okay with that and I need to not ever look at my past self and regret, but I need to be okay that I'm changing I've had so many girls say, yo, man, I want to see your face, boy. You know, it should be okay. I had still managed. It should be okay, you know? It should be okay. It's okay that I'm changing. Yo, what's up, Valais? What's up, guys? Yo, what up, Valais? Sorry, I like, really um, missed a lot. Oh, no worries, Star Gamer. It's okay. No worries, and even if you did on sub, it would be all okay, man. You probably did because I was inactive, and they actually purge inactive viewers. So it's all good. We're inactive subscribers from people. Yo, what up, boys? I feel like I'm not changing my personality, but it's like my looks. Valet's Quest? Why do you call him that, bro? <laughs> Belay's quest? Maybe even edits. Oh, you're, you're working in a couple of hours? Nice. I used to volunteer at a community center. Yeah, you work in the restaurant still? That's cool. I'm glad you're still working there. If you don't mind asking what happened to your... Oh, I pierced myself. I didn't pierce myself. I got a piercing. They're snake bites. Um, I just got, um, I think I had them last time I saw you too, but they weren't as visible because they were silver. And I just got black ones. So they're, um, they're snake bites. They're piercings. Now they're piercings. Um, so it's like, uh, it's just, I still have that and that's kind of emo, you know, but yeah, they're, they're piercings. See, like, even, even when they do the kissy lip thing, I look all cute and shit. And I look like that, cute like that when I'm emo. Like, look, look, look. You only see, like, one eye. You know what I mean? Like, I'm starting to really enjoy, like, being, like, having my hair out of my face. And I think it's okay that I'm changing. I think it's fine. I'm just like not used to it because I had this style since I was like 2000, since like 2014, you know? But it's like, I just feel like I want something new, you know? I'll have the hair out of the face for this rest of the stream. I would wear my makeup, but I don't want to wear makeup tonight. But yeah, no, I'm actually really feeling like I'm changing. Um, my style and I'm not trans I, I like being a guy not to not gonna lie having I feel like having boobs would be a lot of fun 
but I don't want to like take our HRT for that. So if I were to ever do that, I'd probably get implants. But I'm unsure about if I want that or not. You know? I think I want. Oh, I don't want laser surgery. I want laser surgery on my neck. I don't want it on my chin. I want it on my upper lip where my mustache is, and I want it on my cheeks. I want the any brow gone. But like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna get it on my neck too, but like, not my chin because I do want to grow some facial hair. I just never have liked having a mustache. So I was like, yeah, my style is changing, and I think I need to be okay with that. So I have to be okay with it. I'm starting not to like having the emo stuff going on. And I look more like in the metal than I look emo. But like if you look at all the emo guys and the emo bands, they don't even have emo hair anymore. And if they do, it's short. I just need to like, I think for myself, like I need to change a bit, you know? Did that, you got a tattoo, that's cool, dude, nice. They look pretty cool, thank you. I just got the silver one swapped out, thanks. Oh yeah, it's like that. It's an aesthetic thing, Star Gamer. It's they're called snake bites. So there's different kinds of um, lip piercings. So basically, snake bites are on your bottom lip. Angel bites are on your top lip. There's the what's this one called? The librette. So it goes through your lip and your bottom chin or bottom part of your mouth. And then there's um there's uh what else um. Uh, there's a little mouth dining thing. Yeah, there's there's those. Now, I'm really starting to feel like I'm not, I'm not, I'm emo, bro. But like, I'm not personality wise, I'm not emo. Like, aesthetically, yes. But I'm starting to kind of break through that. I just don't like the hair in the face anymore. I'm not feeling it anymore. I was streaming, looking at myself, like listening to myself talking about. The girl from that I like from school that has a boyfriend and like when I talk about her like in anything and just even think about her like bro I have no business thinking about her or talking about something that she helped me with or even just talking about us being friends. Looking like this. Looking like this. Looking like a cyclops, dude. Like look at me. Oh, I'm a cyclops motherfucker. I'm a cyclops, but it's good. Like, I just don't know if I want that anymore. You know? And it's okay that my style has changed. I don't, I don't know how to feel though. It's like, I want to feel good about it, but I don't feel good about it, but then I feel good about it when I'm dressed like a chick. But when I'm dressed like, when I have my hair in my face, and there's one eyeball and Half of my face is just covered. Like, I also don't know if I feel good. I might start wearing makeup on my, like, wings. And maybe not wearing, like, lip gloss or lipstick unless I'm, like, wearing a mini skirt. But I might start, like, doing the wings thing. Um, I might just start wearing eyeliner. I mean, you don't have to be, like, gay or trans or don't have to be a girl to wear that, but I just don't feel good about myself like otherwise. And I'm starting to really like the hair in the face. You know, I really am. I just don't know like how to feel about it or what to do about it. Or I don't know anything else. Like, I don't know how to feel about it. You know, like I don't, I don't even feel good right now. I don't know. I want, I, damn it, like, I don't know, man, I hate being in front of cameras sometimes, I hate being in front of people, I feel like I'm looking in the mirror and I look so much better in the mirror than I do in my video, like, I don't, I feel like I don't look good in my video, I feel awful, okay, I look good now, it's like I have to be super close to the, to the, um, camera to like even feel good about my looks where it's like the opposite where like somebody has to be further away to feel good I have to be up close to feel good about myself and I can't feel good about myself when I'm like this 
What up, guys? I'm emo today. What the fuck's up? I don't know, dude. I don't know how to feel, man. What? Well, wait, what? Sorry, you have to go through piercings? Ooh. It's a style, man. It's an aesthetic. It's an aesthetic, Star Gamer. It's literally like. There's different piercings, like, you can get. So it's like, basically. Like, it's a, it's a style type of thing. It's like, literally, like, you know how girls have the nose rings or like the diamond in their nose? It's like that. But it's on your lip. What up, Crossfighter? Yo, I appreciate it. Thank you. How are you? I streamed Smash last night. I was trying to get people to join that. I wonder if my YouTube short got any more views or publicity. Sometimes people could be working. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, damn, what the hell? I got four more subscribers from this live stream? Damn. What the hell? What the fuck? How? I got four more subscribers from this live stream. That's insane. I was at 1,192 and I'm 1,196. I don't, I mean, maybe not everyone was, was subscribed before. Um, like that got the links or that I've seen in other people's communities. I really appreciate the support, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. I mean, you guys like the vibes here. We talk about whatever we want. We are not PG-13. We are not PG. You did that too? Yo, thank you, D. Hey, D, how'd you find me? Did you find me through Smash Bro or Blitz99? Did you find me through Just Be The Guys community? Did you find me from a YouTube short? I posted a YouTube short um, that I was um, streaming, so I was trying to get publicity free. Um, I was trying to get publicity from, uh, you know, just like some communities that I like. And usually I don't do that, but I felt like it was, you know, I felt like it's okay. As long as it's people that I more regularly talk to. You know, I think that the only streamers I've really been... Well, the only... I haven't been watching Blitz that much. But he's somebody that I feel like I can always go to and reconnect. But I feel like the only person I've really been watching lately is, like, just be the guy in terms of being live. And then, um... It's kind of it, to be honest. And I've been watching a lot of his stream vods. They bring me catch luck for Shiny Shadow Raikou. I steamroll through those shiny encounters, or those encounters, when I watch him. Jerry makes me laugh too. He just doesn't, it's just like his personality, you know, it's like, it's like not even like he's trying to be funny, he just is, you know, he's just like, he just says something dumb and you laugh. It's like his personality is just like funny, you know, he's not trying to be somebody, he's him. Um, so I used to get signature select peanut butter, but I'm gonna be real, um, my, my house has Skippy peanut butter in their drawer. Skippy's pretty good, man. I didn't realize peanut butter would differ, like, Skippy peanut butter is, is pretty damn good. The peanut butter I got from signature select is just kind of, like, bland and, like, it's super salty that's, like, bland. Man, Skippy's sweet as hell. Also, guys, my um, I'm working the same job I worked back when I lived 
I'm just gonna say it. I'm working the same job I worked back when I lived in Morro Bay. And I'm gonna say where I live because where I live also has different area, there's different zip codes. There's actually different zip codes where I live. So I'm safe to give out my location now because it's a bigger area. I live in Santa Maria, California. And um, I work at the Spencer's Fresh Market down there now and I'm finally used to my management. Um, so I was super close to my, my main store manager, which isn't usually the case. I never really got to connect with Carl when I worked with Carl because I worked at night. And he never worked me during the day. And then um, I saw, um, and I, I actually got to build, and then uh, my other boss, Jin, which is kind of intimidating. Um, I got to really build a good connection with Art. Art is amazing. So, he's my store manager, he's awesome. Dude, you are one of the coolest people I've ever seen. You look good in my eyes. Yo, thank you. You're like a rock star. Thanks. I also do guitar streams. That means a lot to me. Thank you. And a cool gamer. Yo, thank you. You know what I want to do on my channel is I want to do video game arrangements for metal. Or for metal. I want to do video game arrangements for... Oh, 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 I see. Yo, thanks, man. Yo, did you hear that compliment? Yeah. So he, so he said, dude, you are one of the coolest people I've ever seen. You look good in my eyes, you look a rock star and a cool gamer. That's a good compliment. That's a cool compliment. You know, nobody would, I mean, this guy would probably say it, but like, nobody like that I ever met lo that lives local, like on Facebook or Instagram. Well, there is a few people who would say that, but most people wouldn't even say that. I mean, like 99% of people on those that I talked to on those platforms that are like local they'd never say that to me because a lot of those people wanted me to feel worthless you know they wanted me to feel worthless and um they actually went out of their way like this girl told my ex-friend my ex-friend's like hey what do you think about this guy and she was like oh he's cute but i'm not into dating right now and then Dude, like, she literally was, for me, the camel, the, the straw that broke the camel's back when it came to social media. I was done. I literally, like, she, I complimented her, and like, I was like, yo, I know you have a boyfriend, but I'm gonna say this compliment, and I comes from a good place. Yo, what up, Damien? Link later, how's it going? Oh, wait. Is that your brother or sister? That's cool. That's cool, thank you. Um, I, I see it's a different name. That's cool. Thanks for the support, guys. Um, so I, I told, um, you know, like, I said, like, yo, look, I used to like my face a lot. I used to have a baby face. My face is more rough now. My jaw is less narrow. Like, I don't like my, I miss my old, I miss myself when I was, like, 19 or 20. I still look young as hell. But I feel like my neck's a little thicker. It's a little thicker. Barely thick. It's not even thick, it's like paper thin, but it's like, I still feel like my neck is less like thin. Like I had a nice jawline when I was 19 or 20. So what I was trying to tell her is like, you're, you're just as good now. It's just like, you know, you're good, better. You're just as good in a different way. And she flat out ignored the fuck out of me. And she kept posting, bitch. Damn. Fuck that shit. I was done, dude. I was done. I shaved my friends list from 740 to like 90. It was like 89. At first it was like 200 something. Like, oh, I gotta play more people. I was done, dude. I was like, no more of this shit. These people don't deserve my kindness. And it's not like I was kind to them and expected them to be kind back or to say thank you. But it was so fucking exhausting it was so fucked <sighs> now it's me in a nutshell ranting to you guys but I very much appreciate the compliment star gamer because a lot of people were in my actual area that regularly it's like basically when you use Facebook and Instagram and you're 
you know, there's people that post on there 24-7. Those are all the people that post on there all day and share things all day and post too many things all day. They're the scummiest people in your entire area. They're basically the people who don't post or rarely post. Basically are some of the best people because they don't these people don't touch grass. These people don't meet other people. They're all fucking lazy. Piles of rotting shit, human scum. So, basically, I really very much appreciate the compliment. Thank you. Thank you. Like, 99% of those people that were on my friends list, 700 something of them, we now have the decency to say what you said, so I very much appreciate you, and as I speak my mind here. I remember the guitar streams, you're a great platform. Thank you, man, I appreciate it. I love how you give it your heart out because that's your special power. You're... That is, damn man, you're such a fucking nice person. Dude, I actually wear my heart on my sleeve. Let me read that out loud. Yeah, I remember the guitar streams, you're a great performer and musician. I love how you give out... It, your heart out because that's your special power your heart being your guiding key Dude, that is that is literally like probably one of the nicest thing that anyone has ever said to me on in my comment section you know I wear my heart on my sleeve and I'm always handing my heart out to people who don't deserve it and it's like I never live life for the regrets, but I'm always trying to make the sad smile. And I'm always trying to make the. I'm always trying to make the sad smile. And I'm always trying to make the hurt laugh, you know? And like, that's just very nice of you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I feel you, man. Yeah. You're underrated as a YouTuber. You are, Valaze. I think Chaos is, too. Chaos Live 09. To be honest, dude, like, he's been having... People have been unsubbing him because he's, like, playing other games. It's like, guys, Pokemon's already dead. Scarlet and Violet died. That game is dead. No one plays it anymore. It's only good for YouTube shorts. Yo, what's up, Sirius? How's it going? I'm good. How are you? So that was such a fucking nice thing that um, Star Gamer X said. Man, it was really nice. Like, I'm going to be honest, it's probably one of the kindest, most real about me things that anyone's ever said. And you know, like, to be honest, like, as much as, like, it's like, oh, but Jake, like, I was always fishing for people to appreciate me for who I was, or see me for the person I am, you know, but they just wouldn't, you know, and like I come here and like everybody's so fucking nice to me and when there's not nice people, I don't have to deal with them, you know, but it's like there's more nice people than not, but where I live, like there's not enough people that actually care about me, you know, they don't care about me, don't think I'm cool, like they don't think I'm a nice guy, they don't see me for who I am, they just see me as a freak. That's not on a leash, that's just like not tame. And I think that I, like that girl said, she said I get too hyper fixated over, that girl at school. She said I get too hyper fixated over myself, you know? Not over myself, <laughs> I didn't mean that. She says I get too hyper fixated over anything, you know? Oh, not anything she said I get totally hyper fixated over things which if she was talking about me perseverating and like thinking about all the bad stuff but I know that she didn't just mean that like she reminded me of who I am and it was like very very helpful that she said that to me because like you know like basically it helped remind me who I actually am because for a while I was forgetting who I was you know I was forgetting who I was, you know, and just like having, meeting her, it's like, even if I can't be with her, you know, 
It was just like one of the best things ever. And meeting Star Gamer X, similar thing, you know, there's all these people that are coming in my life sometimes, like, even if it's online or if it's in person. You know, just having somebody remind me who I am and even tell me things like, she told me that I'm the person, like, she sees me for the person I am and stuff. And reminds me that I hyper fixate over things. I don't think she just meant the bad stuff. I just think she even in general. Like, one thing about being autistic and being on the spectrum and shit is that you're, like, literally hyper obsessed. Like, you hyper fixate over, like, video games or, like, anything else that you are obsessed with. Like, you are obsessive, obsessively invested in, like, your one main thing. There's one main thing and there's sometimes there's all these other side things. You know, but like, there's always something that you're just, and hyperfixation is literally an autistic trait and being reminded that that is part of who I am and it's not just over the bad stuff. I know what she meant by that and it just means a lot to me. And honestly, Stargamer X, like what she said to me about how my, let me read that again. How my, my, I love how you give it out your heart out because that's your special power your heart being your guiding key and medley that was just like honestly like seeing me for the person i am versus like who everybody else that lives around me that isn't somebody that i'm close to or haven't connected with like no one even give me a chance to connect like basically all my haters or unbelievers like you are literally like that was like literally like probably one of the nicest things that anyone said to me and I'm really grateful within the last, like, year since I've been going back to school and even a little before I went back. I think I was still in school when I met you, Star Gamer X. But, like, just those last year, like, being able to meet all these amazing people in person. Or the few, or like, being able to reconnect with all the amazing people that I knew at school before and being able to meet somebody that, you know, I feel was very helpful to me being successful in terms of emotional support and then being able to set me off on my own and then I have to emotionally support myself for a while but I just appreciate that person seeing me for she was seeing me for who I am and not who I am not or not really undermining my actual and defaming my actual character I can be weird sometimes I can be a freak you know so my, so my online buddies say, I mean, Jake's a freak, dude, he's a freak, because I'm into some weird shit, you know, like, I, I don't want to go into detail right now, because that's, there's a, like, Oak, Professor Oak says, there's a time and place for everything, but on now, but, like, honestly, dude, like, you guys are some of the nicest fucking people, like, her, she's one of the nicest people I've ever met, I started giving her ex, you are a very kind person as well, and I, that was, honestly, dude, I'm gonna be real, like, that was literally you seeing me for the person I am. And that was just like so kind. Like that was so nice of you, dude. I can't believe you said that to me, dude. Yo, bro, listen to what else this guy said. He said, um, I love how you give it your heart out because that's your special power, your heart being your writing key and medley or melody. This guy like said some stuff, dude. Like, that was like, it's like, see, this is why I like streaming, and this is what I missed from it. You know, because like, 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 I don't get that often from, you know, I don't get that at all from Facebook, locally, people local that live around here. I don't get that from, uh, from like Instagram either, really, you know? And it's like, I come here and people are so fucking nice. You know what I mean? Like, I am fucking lucky that I met all these awesome people, like, online, but then, like, also, I met this guy when I was still in school. And I'm not gonna say her name, but I met, I met the girl, you know, I the, the boyfriend right now. I met, I met her when I was still in school. One of them, like, the last year. I'm so grateful for all the people I met from in my life currently, in person and online. Like, sometimes you gotta be really grateful for what you have in life instead of, like, what you don't have, you know? And even if things could be a certain way with you and somebody else, like, even if it's not what you 
like even if it's not exactly like what you what you wanted you know like like everything you wanted it's better to have somebody in your life than not have them at all and sometimes you get involved with people a certain way and like it all gets like goes downhill you know and then you can't come back from it with that person so like you know what i mean like sometimes things are meant to be for a reason you gotta take it for what it is you gotta take life for what it's got and take every situation for what it is and what it will be and just keep hanging on yo what up boss one how's it going oh no it's okay it's not just my neighborhood star x um it's uh it's like literally this area so i actually am glad i'm in a different county right now um i was thinking about it tonight it's like do i really want to continue to live here like say if i were to like move i was kind of having a mini meltdown tonight um you know i was like yelling to myself and like getting angry about my clothes and shit i'm getting angry about certain things in my room being or certain things in my room like being somebody else's on top of my stuff but it wasn't even his fault it's like somebody, somebody else's fault. I don't know who um, moved it there, but it kept moving it there. But it's like, um, I think I know, but it's fine. I'll let it go. But it just like basically, I moved and I'm in a different county now. And I hate the traffic here. I don't hate the traffic. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was now that I live here. But I hate the pedestrian ways. I hate all the road work and there's going to apparently be road work for like five years straight but i'm pretty sure it's going to be one road each year so my road is first which sucks but i might not have to deal with it as much this year and that's also awesome. you're showing your true self thank you and lighting up other people's hearts when they are down that is the greatest gift you do because spreading love is number one yo thank you so much dude you're the nicest guy in my chat i got you man that makes me very happy you made it my night and you are an amazing person don't let anyone judge you or spread hate do not let any of that get to you. Yo, thank you so much. You have a great heart. Yo, I really appreciate that story. Or I really appreciate you coming here tonight. And honestly, like, um, just remind, not just reminding me of who I am, but like, like, like I said, like helping me learn or relearn, like, who I am, you know? It's honestly, like, very nice. Yo, what up, Retro? Yo, Retro's back. What's up, dude? And by the way, Star Gamer X, you don't have to get confused with me referring to the Valkyria Star Gamer because, um, or the Valkyria Star Gamer, um, because I call them Retro or him Retro. Um, so that's his name. For me, it's Retro. I call him Retro. So you don't have to worry about me getting you guys mixed up. Bro, I miss this shit. Look what I'm doing. I'm literally just like, like riding my bike back and forth. And like, I don't even have to look at the game because like the, I, in the corner of my eye, when I stop, I just keep going. Mm -hmm. And like, my stream's not like on scene. So like, I miss this. I miss this. Like when I play that Pokemon Coliseum game, I have to actually focus. So that's why I don't want to stream that anymore, you know? It's not relaxing. I stream it, but I stream it on private and I watch I binge watch videos. And if I get the shiny, I'll go live, you know. But like with this game, like I can actually connect with people. That's what I do. I'll always be here for you. Oh, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. At least I was on. I hate burping out loud, guys. I did not. I barely almost burped out loud. You have an English copy of Ruby? I think I saw somewhere. I think I saw a video or like a short or something. I might have not commented. I think I did see it or maybe I saw it on your community tab. Nice retro. I'm playing Emerald. I have four Pokemon Emerald. Yo, Daniel, I have four in the same game. Mm -hmm. um, so two of them are in Japanese and then one of them is in Spanish and then the other one, my first one is in English and then I have like a hoarded game like my my, my english emerald from when i was a kid mm -hmm. is literally hoarded of like shiny pokemon that i earned like without cheating that i cloned the cloning glitch mm -hmm. um i just did it to back them up um 
but the reason why I got the Spanish game, and I got the Spanish game for like eighty dollars, it's like one hundred and sixty or like two hundred online now. Mm. It's not even worth that much. Um, but I got the Spanish game because apparently there's um, a glitch where you can actually glitch to Mew and shiny hunt it instead of um, instead of like uh, okay, so there's two different glitches. There's a glitch. I found another glitch where you can actually glitch to shiny Mew or glitch to Mew from po the Pokemon Center. Or you can, um, you just walk out of the Pokemon Center and then you're, like, in the area where you find Mew. Yeah. Or you can, um, glitch in the items that allow you to be able to, um, to actually find Mew and Deoxys. And you get both of them through that same, through a different Which glitch. Is the one? Yeah, but it's, like, takes longer than the glitch to actually be able to transport yourself to Mew. So, I'm gonna probably do it like that. And it works on the English game too. I might have to get another English copy. Thank you, Star Gamer. Dude, add me on Discord, bro. I'm not use I'm starting to use it a little more. Hold on. Tell me if you find me. This is my user. They they got rid of the hashtags. Wait, what? Oh, that's not it. That's what he's channel. We'll go back on Discord really quick. It means you actually sent me a request. Is that home? Is that kid? Is that bitch? Let's see. I think he did. Let's go. Yo, what up, Benji? What's up, man? How's it going? That's good. I'm streaming right now. I'm doing that thing I've been streaming? doing for a while. Yeah. I'm playing games. People are being nice to me. Are you blabbing? Am I blabbing? I am blabbing. blabbing? I am blabbing. blabbing. Oh. Blabbing. Oh. Oh. Um, You're not a blogger? No, no, I'm not. But my whole channel is. If you be a blogger, you, you earn money. But I, I, I thought once I. Um, you you can earn a big money. Once I get Street Labs on here, it's my birthday. Yeah. I'm making bank. I might not make bank, that's okay, but like. I, I might make money from that okay. since people will donate. Hey, what's up? How are you, Soul? That's good. Benji, I made 14 subscribers yesterday, last night. Yeah, from getting from streaming, and tonight I made four or five. Yeah. This girl and her brother are on the spectrum, and they subscribe. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh yeah, you were ahead of me, bro. Sorry, somebody else taught me. Some of the people, this one guy said some of the nicest stuff tonight, Soul. He said, I'll read it, you what he said, it was deep. He said, um, I love how you give your heart out because that's your special power. Your heart being your kiting key and medley. Melody, and you're really good at guitar. And then he said, um, and that's awesome. You're showing your true self and lighting up other people's hearts when they are down. And that is the greatest gift you can do because spreading love is number one. That is so nice. I actually think he deserves mod for that. I'm gonna mod this guy. I need more mods on my channel anyways. You deserve mod, bro, for seeing me for who I am. Thank you. Here's your moderator. You are now mod. I was in the back of my head. I was like, I should probably mod this guy, but you know, you just earned it by seeing me for me, you know? It usually takes people a long time to see me for me, so like, you just, uh, you know, you just earned it. Good job. I need more moderators anyways. I've been absent for a while, and I need people to help out with my channel. Since uh, some of my older viewers are kind of doing their own thing since I've been gone for so long. They've been gone for so long, so I need more mods. Thank you. Of course. I mean, this is one of your only times here, but like you actually saw me for me, you know what I mean? And I was like, honestly, like, so that stuff you said, I was like in the back of my mind, I was like, I'm probably should probably mod this guy, but like, I was like still like, you know, kind of like maybe I should wait. But I just decided like, you deserve it. You won't let me down? Well, to be honest, um, even if there's times you can't make it, don't put pressure on yourself, okay? I don't like being mod in other people's streams. Some people will mod me, that's nice, but. 
I don't need moderator. I don't like mo having moderators. So if you ever see me in your streams, please don't mod me. Please don't mod me. Please don't mod me. I modded you. Okay. I don't like, um, so don't ever feel pressured to like be in my streams. Okay. Don't ever feel pressured. Just, uh, be here when you can. You don't have to check in. And just when you're here, just help me out, you know? If there's, like, a bad comment, remove it. Um, I don't have the rules in here, but I do have moderator rules. I need to re-update my... My, um... Rules in my... In my, uh... Description. But, basically, mod rules... I don't want you banning anybody unless you have my permission. So if you want to ban somebody, just ask, or I'll do it. But, um, I don't want you to just straight up ban somebody, but I want you to ask permission if you should. And either I'll do it, or I'll say yes or no. Thank you, I appreciate it, Stargamer X, and th thank you. And please do not mod me just because I mod you. Because I, I really don't like being mod. Like, it's just like, it's like, I'm not even really around on those streams anymore. So, like, I just don't want that. Um, so, I will try to come to your streams, though, and hang out. Because I need to play more Mario Kart. Some people love the ca cause hate. I don't cope with that nonsense. Yeah, I don't, to be honest, I don't cope with it well either. But I do, I've been doing better. At it, I think, since I moved. Because I'm, like, in a different county. That was what I was trying to say. I'm in a different county, and I am starting all over again. And because I'm starting over all over again, the few people that I know... Uh, let's see, who do I know here? One of them is... I'm not going to say names. I'm not going to say genders, either. They're kind of a narcissist, as I have continued to get to talk to them. And I don't think I care about their validation, because I think... When I dress up like a girl, I can be a lot prettier than this person, you know? And I'm just gonna say it, if they saw my live stream, which they won't because they don't care about my YouTube stuff, they said, I told them I got Dollar Tree um, makeup. I'll show you guys um, on my face cam what my Dollar Tree makeup looks like. I'll show you. I got Dollar Tree makeup like eyeliner which I like the eyeliner too because it actually peels off instead of like it stays more hard or more hard it hardens and then it like stays on my eyes longer um so sometimes I like cross dress um but I'll show you guys like a picture of myself that I showed her um I took this picture of me on the bus you can see my wings, you can see my makeup, you can see my shiny lips. That entire eyeliner and makeup and lipstick was literally Dollar Tree. She's like, eh, it's alright. Bitch, you don't even wear anything. You, and you, you're like, let me not go into detail, because that's kind of fucked. But, I'm not seeking validation from her anymore, I still look up to her. I'm not seeking validation from her anymore because she's a narcissist. You get Dollar Tree makeup and then I show her and it looks better than anything I've ever seen her wear. I think she is, might be jealous of me because she's a girl. And I'll just say it here, she's trans. And I think she's jealous of me. And I, I just shouldn't just assume when everyone's mean to me that they're jealous. But, and it sucks because like one of her and my managers gets along too, but it's like, I got upset by that, and because of that, and just because of other interactions I've had with her online, mostly online, but one in person, I don't need her approval that I'm good enough. I don't need that. I think I look better with Dollar Tree makeup than I've ever seen her look. And that's mean. And that's kind of fucked up. And I'm not a girl. And that's not fucking cool with me. And I I kinda don't fucking care. I'll add your channel link to my knife. Oh, thank you, that's nice of you. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. I might start doing video game covers too, and when I do, um, actually, like, I'm gonna try to get, like, studio arrangements. I need to hit up one of my family friends. 
I feel bad because he wished me a happy St. Patrick's Day and I never said anything to him. I feel like an asshole for that, but I really want to reconnect with his um, son because his son has logged in more hours of Smash than I have, and I used to destroy his son at that game back when his son was like 11. Now his, or his son was like 13, and now his son is like 18 or 19, and so I want to reconnect with his son and play some Smash Bros with him, and I want to... Um, to, I want uh, he offered me recording studio studio recording studio quality recording instruction um, from for free and some other guy that lives where I used to live in Morro Bay said that he'd give me like $30 an hour but he's $30 an hour is $30 for him an hour but he doesn't think he can make my setup sound like I wanted and they both had the same sound the same sound effects that the guy that told me that I wanted his tone told me that he used and my other friend said that he can help me. My family friend said he can help me. So I'm going to try to go to him for recording instruction and try to whip up some good video game cover music. And so if I ever make really cool music and you can, I can make a playlist for you where you can make a playlist yourself of my music that um, basically um, you can use that for your channel. But right now, I don't want my music being used for anyone's channel because I, besides my Bubble Man guitar cover for Mega Man 2, I don't think I like any of my other guitar covers. I think they're all, except for my metal covers, which are literally copyright material that I don't really like any of my other stuff that I arranged. So I'm gonna actually get it professionally done now and help with it. And uh, when I'm done with school, that's my goal. I think I'm gonna work on Wally's theme from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire first. And then I'm gonna do, uh, um, I'm gonna do, uh, Maybe redo some of my old. I'm gonna do Spiral Mountain from Banjo Kazooie. Maybe I'll do Final Destination from Super Smash Bros. Brawl and do a collab for that. I want to do a collab with um with a uh, Guitar Geek 25. He's one of my. He still supports me. Um, but then other than that, um, then I'll start doing some make like some redoing some of my old covers. Guys, one second. I'm gonna talk to one of my houseworkers really quick. One sec. I want to ask her a question. One second. Or no, I'm gonna just tell her something. Check in. One sec.
I'm back. I was just talking to my house worker. Oh, uh, did subscribe to you. I'll check you out. Nice. Done a lot of them. Let me catch up. You guys were chatting. Great to be friends, Jake. Take care. Bless you. I'm still here. <laughs> You're welcome, Star Gamer. You really deserve it. You're the best. He's on it. Yeah, he's really nice to me, dude. Thanks, Retro. That means a lot. Take care of yourself. Take it easy. I'm staying to subscribe to your channel until the day I die. Aww. <laughs> you're so you're too young to die right now, my guy. Don't think about it. That that mode of YouTube is gone by then. Which it, ever nothing lasts forever, but you know, in our life it could. Yeah, if you want to, you can catch my gameplay videos on my channel. Also, Jake doesn't see this comment. Tell him to check out his... Oh, he comes on Discord. Let me see. I won't read it out loud. I did subscribe to you. I'll check you out. Play Star Game. I'm your Discord right now. Nice. Hold on. Let me catch up a little more. There we go. I think I got it. Hold on. Did I touch all my Charmanders? I'm checking my DMs. I won't read it out loud. Unless you want me to. I also don't go on Discord much, but I wanted your Discord just in case, like, uh, I want to message you about something or ask you a question, like your profile picture. Oh, let me see. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, um, that's, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. I don't know how to use those things. I'm thinking about starting to get stream, uh, OBS Streamlabs, so I can do stuff like that at some point. That's cool. Thank you so much, dude. My friend Jacob, his favorite um, Mario character is Rosalina. Bro, I'm looking at my stream. Oh, I look gross, dude. Why do I look like that? Ew. My my face was like glitching out. I was like nasty, dude. Why do, wait, why do, I need to get away from the screen, dude. What the hell? I'm looking at myself. I'm all like dysmorphic now. Ew. I need, to get, I need to get away from the screen now. I don't look like that earlier. Why do I look like that? It was just, uh, guys, he just uh, showed me some, some stuff. Why is this highlighted? There you go. He was just showing me some stuff. He was showing me, he made a command for me on um, Nightbot, so it's super cool. Or Streambot. Let's check my sub account. Yo, Daniel, you know, I was telling you I got um, 14 subscribers last night. I got four subscribers tonight. Ooh. We're getting close. I'm not even trying, dude. So I was using the YouTube shorts to try, and then those stopped doing stuff for me, and then I come to streaming again, and I'm getting hella noticed. Dude, I've gotten 9,000 views the last, uh, 38, in the last 30 days, 9,000 views. And my watch time, people have watched my videos 114 hours last three, I know, that's insane. 114 hours, people just watching my shit, like, binge watch. Bro, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna mute the mic so they can't hear. I'm gonna bring somebody up that I shouldn't bring up on public.
What up, guys? I was just telling my coworker, or not my coworker, not my coworker. I was telling my my roommate's buddy about. Um, I'm glad to be a part of your Discord, gamer. Nice. Did you change your profile picture? It was a, that before, and I just didn't notice or thought it was something new. Um, I was telling my roommate's helper how I was um how I was like. Some of this one girl from the past, like, said she used to watch my streams late at night when, yeah, I don't want to talk about it anymore, but I was just telling them about that. Because I was, like, telling them how I have, like, 114 views and what if, she, or 114 watch hours this last month, what if she was, like, just binge watching my shit, like. Yo, guys, if you have not seen my Mario Mondays playlist, you might want to consider watching that. Cause I played through all of 3D All-Stars. Sorry about that community you in, in right now. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's having a hard time, man. Um, yeah, he has been, um, there's just been people giving him shit, basically, and it sucks. Haru, Haru Glory from Raid Master. That's cool. He looks like a Final Fantasy character with the way he's holding his sword. Oh, how'd you discover me? Mar uh... Oh, Natalie Cole? Really? That's cool. Yeah, she's cool. I haven't. I think she's not been active. I wasn't active for a while. That's cool. Natalie the homie, dude. I like when Natalie hits on me. I actually like it, because she's actually attractive. She has cool, like, dimple piercing. Wait, is this a dimple piercing? What the? Yes, thank you. I, I, I'm I, good at catching stuff. I, my old job, I used to drop things all the time. I might actually wait to eat these, because I'm almost going to bed. And I'm going to say it here. I don't give a fuck. Natalie Cole is hot. I just said it. I don't care. I don't care. I said it. I don't care. I said it. I don't care. She used to hit on me all the time, dude. And I like it because she's hot. She's my type. <clears throat> You're a mutual server, isn't there? Not sure when you join Blitz Discord. She's um she's in there, that's cool. I didn't know they knew each other. I think I might have known they know each other. She just started going live and then she just disappeared, dude. Which I don't blame her. This streaming shit gets mental sometimes. Bro, next time Way Gaming comes in here, I'm gonna be like, yo, bro. I'm gonna say it. Natalie Cole's hot. I just said it. Um, she is a, street, a Pokemon streamer. Um, she's... She used to be like a viewer and stuff of me and Waze. Um, but then her sister helped her with this all like awesome setup and stuff. And um and so she started like streaming too. Like, you know, like for me, I used to watch four gamers back in the day, 2018, and Professor Wes, and there are the reasons why I wanted to stream. I used to watch Wes even before streaming on YouTube was a thing. I used to watch him when Black and White 2 was out, dude. I was been in the shiny hunting since like Gen 4. Since the end of Gen 4, so like our gold sold over. My first shiny was a Soul Dew Latios, and I got um, Shiny Cyndaquil in Soul Silver. I got Shiny Soul Dew Latios, Heart Gold, Shiny Cyndaquil, Soul Silver, and then I got a Shiny Giratina in Platinum. And those were my very first three shinies, and sadly I don't have the Giratina, the Latios anymore. Because me and my ex girlfriend are falling out, and I traded it to her game. I lost it forever. Definitely, I was being a simp before being a simp was a real, like, had a term. And I gave it to her like an idiot. I just don't like to admit it. I would be like, oh, I just traded it to her game and we had a falling out. That's all I like to say. I don't like to admit it. Um. Anyway, so I would love to rehunt that one day. I was actually kind of thinking about shiny hunting, roaming Latios, and Soul Silver. Just because, like. I don't think it has a fateful thing in the summary screen. Um, and 
I remember what nature it had, and if I can use a synchronize and get to 50% impish, it had an impish nature. I remember that. If I could get the impish nature on it, I could do it without an event. Yeah, Natalie's an awesome person. She's an awesome streamer. I call her Nicole, because her name is actually Nicole, but she goes by Natalie Cole, because that's like a joke between her and her family. <clears throat> oh, she's not in? Oh. Oh, I was mentioning you were? Oh, you met her from that. You met Natalie Cole in general. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool. Nice. <laughs> Get it? Nice. That's cool you met me through her. Oh, so like I was in Blitz Discord, but you met me through her. I see. I see. We're all tied in a way, kind of. We. So guys, I'm gonna be live for probably 24 more minutes. Um, since I didn't get raided tonight, I don't think I'm gonna raid anyone. Um, so I'm probably just gonna, if I get raided in 24 minutes, then I have to end still. Cause it's, it's like kind of like a curfew here. Um, but I'll just send, we'll do like a double raid probably. Um, just because of the fact that I, you know, as much as I, Oh yeah, Lumion, yes, because Lumion is also one of Wei's only few mods. Lumion and Nat, yeah. Yeah, she's, you met her on Twitch? That's cool. Yeah, she's uh, more on Twitch. Honestly, if you're doing full odds hunting, Twitch is the way. You know what I mean? Like, I would be popping off more on here if I was on Twitch. I probably wouldn't be popping off as much because... People will be looking to be like, oh, you're only seeing all hunting, you idiot. You should be times eight hunting when you're doing this. And like, I, I could times three at, I can only times two now. And my other GameCube is in storage. And I don't think my mom would let me take the family GameCube all the way to Santa Maria. So, basically, nope. I have to... I want to get a Japanese GameCube. Oh, dude, the uh, friggin' what's it called? The Pokemon box trick? You can actually put eggs in Pokemon box, Ruby and Sapphire. And so you can actually, um, you can actually, like, put the eggs on a different game. And even though the eggs always have the same stats and the same natures, one of those eggs can be shiny for you. So basically, I could get like uh, a bunch of 31 IV Jolly Charmanders, and I could like save over whatever Charmanders were that nature, and then I could like hold on, like 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 reset when I know they all have the same IVs and the same nature, and then I could like put all those eggs in Pokemon box, and then one of those Charmanders that had the stats that I wanted would be shiny in a different game and then I could just release all the other eggs and then keep just keep hoarding that would take forever and I could probably get a shiny before then but just fill my whole PC full of tar shiny full of Charmanders at like 31 and everything <coughs> and then bring them to a different game and then like yeah it would, it's insane um that guy way gaming wait wait that was somebody else so many live we can read who is someone who's live. Oh, cool. Like we, um, Lumion are all donkey bond. I'll check him out. I'll check him out. Um, if he's still alive by the time I end, which hopefully he will be. I'm ending in ten minutes. We can check. We can raid him. That'd be great. I think I've seen the name before. Donkey bond. I've seen the name before. Thank you for letting me know. 
I have seen that name. Donkey Bon. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. <laughs> Donkey Kong. They yeah, make us all like a monkey and a donkey. T K. Doctor Shlong. He's got a big dog. His name is Doctor Shlong. He has a coconut gun. It fires in spurts. Spurts. Let's well, not, you know, go there right now. I was out of pocket. I'll shower you with coconut cream pie. Donkey Kong show. I remember I had the Donkey Kong. I, I we used to rent the Donkey Kong Country Game Boy game. On the Game Boy Color. And then I used to go to my grandma's right after. And then I used to play it for a little bit, and I used to watch the Donkey Kong kind, the Donkey Kong cartoon, the really cheesy one. PST. I am P I'm post. I'm uh, Pacific time as well. I'm actually PST as well. Twelve forty one in the morning. California reps, stand up. Thank you. I might actually do OBS Streamlabs, and I think they have their own theme with it. Dude, I have an idea of what I'm gonna do for next Smash stream. I think if I don't do it, I probably won't do it this week. I think maybe whenever I do Smash again, I'm gonna do um, Anther's Ladder just because I want good online gameplay. I don't want some garbage gameplay like on Quick Play. All the game modes on Smash Ultimate are bad. I want some good matches. I want to get my ass whooped or I want to win some. And I just want good gameplay and I don't want to have to beg my viewers to play with me because like like actually guitar my guitar live streams pop off more than my smash streams my smash streams are literally bare bones like no like it's either like it's usually miss and sometimes it's hit but it's hit or miss um just OBS studio not streamlabs maybe you could help me get streamlabs if you could help me get stream labs, I was gonna ask um this other guy I'm friends with Joshua BMW. I was gonna ask him to help me get OBS stream labs. I was also gonna ask him if he could help me get um, um I was also gonna ask him. See you, Benji. Where are you guys going? Where are you going? Oh, okay. I'll see you around. Oh, uh, he's is he working there? Is he working right now? Oh, he's actually going to church this late? Sunday, Sunday. Hey, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday we go to for guarding. Guarding. Oh, he's guarding. Oh, he's guarding. Oh, he's a security guard? Damn. No, not Oh, he's just guarding. He's making sure everything's okay. Well, that's cool. I didn't know that was a thing. That's cool you guys do that. Yeah, I didn't know what he was doing. That's why he was I always, sometimes yeah, I always, I got to see him Sunday. like when I was allowed to stay up late later. I used to see him like coming in at like three so, yeah. in the morning. What's up? So I'll fix your food for tomorrow. Yes, that sounds good. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's nice of you. Thanks. Oh, yeah, I have some more of those Cheetos, the Cheeto boxes for the macaroni. I have two more boxes. I have to get those to you sometime to make more. Thank you. Guys, I had this great idea on spaghetti noodles. So like, um, I like celiac disease, so I want like gluten-free noodles. And then like, okay, so where I live, like I'm not like it's like a, a through a program that I was a part of. I was homeless for a while. I just explained it like this. I was offered um board and care because I was on uh, applicable for it because of my disability. They kind of just let me do what I want, and I appreciate it very much. 
Um, but one of the things, like when I'm here, I can't do whatever I want. So, but when I'm on the premise, uh, off the premises, I can. Like right, guys, I can get laid, basically. But I need to be more safe and careful now. Um, but basically, um, I had her whip up gluten-free noodles, and I bought Cheeto boxes of macaroni and cheese, and I had her um, mix the packets with the gluten-free noodles. Delicious. It was so good. Okay, so Star Gamer, we got five minutes left. Um, if you want, um, like with when it's 12:50, if you want to grab the link for Donkey Bond when it's 12:50, it's not 12:50 right now. In four minutes, when I give the okay, if you want to grab the link for Donkey Bond, so I could raid that person, I will. And yeah, I totally will. And plus, I need to be more. I mean, maybe subscribe to people who did for different games. Pokemon is dead on YouTube. Pokemon is like bare bones on YouTube. Like the old games are where it's at, you know. When Legend, like Pokemon, will be dead for a whole year. Pokemon is literally dying for a straight year. For over a year, Pokemon will die. Pokemon is literally dead for a whole year on YouTube. On Twitch, it's not dead because people are actually playing um, the old games and shiny hunting in the old games where everybody on YouTube for some reason, yo bullies, you're back dude, we're about to do a raid in like three minutes, less than three minutes. We're about to do a raid. I'm actually raiding again. I'm not doing it for publicity. I wasn't going to raid tonight, but Star Gamer says some of you awesome is live. So funny because I was there raiding him and then he raided you after all. After LOL. Oh damn. Nice. I appreciate it, dude. You know who else does the double raid thing? And it's um Azalea22. I forgot she did that. She does like double raids. Or like triple or quadruple raids. And that's like basically not against the rules. You could do that, but usually people just raid like one person. I forgot she did that, dude. That's okay. I haven't I hadn't been there for a while. Cause I've been like not anywhere really. <clears throat> I've been gone. I've been going to school. And I've not been streaming since the semester barely because I've been focusing on being successful as a student in college. It's like funny because all these like people like hated on me, dude. Not all these people. Like, not, I'm not talking about real life, but basically, there's one big head YouTuber. Yeah, he's um. I moderated. I moderated him. You're one of Lumion's friends. That's cool. Lumion's a cool person. Um, basically there's this big head YouTuber and like he used to talk down to me like as a kid at one point like my well my cats had just died and my dad died and shit. I got like really mad at him. I'm like dude I went through way too much for you to like be an asshole to me. Now my mom's in the hospital. Like he timed me out because I was being negative. I was like dude I'm gonna block your ass. Like you're mean to my friends. I didn't say that to him, I should have though. You're mean you're literally mean to my friends. Who are also streamers and you're a fucking douchebag. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, he's a student or not a student, he's um successful, like he's literally got an actual job on top of his like YouTube. So he's got something lined up for himself already, so he is a successful person, but it's funny because he wanted to think all these things about me that I'm just like this, this like, uh, incompetent, like, brain dead, fucking worthless, like, basically somebody who needs help. And I'm going to school, like, what else do you want from me? Like, maybe he wouldn't think about me like that anymore, knowing that I'm graduating college and stuff, but like, he doesn't even know. 
Yeah, I know. It was over an opinion. It was literally like, I wasn't that excited for Legends of Arceus. And I said, like, there's a couple reasons why I'm not excited for that game. But, like, it looks good. And he timed me out because that's negative. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? My guy is whack as hell. He's a douchebag. Taking a break from streaming myself, just been fe feeling myself forcing my growth. Yeah, when it gets like, that's how I was, for, no, I was forcing myself to get a shiny. The shiny Shadow Kawaba is what ruined it for me. Oh, that's right. Uh, can I finish hatching these eggs before? I'm gonna hatch these three eggs right here, and then I'll get it okay. I'm gonna end, um, I'm gonna hatch these eggs, and then I'm going to end my, um, I'm gonna do my little outro, and then I'll, yeah, and then I'll let you know. Thank you. No, she's good now. She's good now, Blaze. That was like a year ago. Blaze, I'm gonna say who it was, and I'm gonna delete my comment. I'm gonna delete my comment after. He was mean to Chaos Live 09 too. Yeah, he was also mean to Chaos Live 09 as well. Don't say his name. But yeah, he was he was not nice. He became an asshole when Brilliant Diamond Shiny Pearl came out and he barely even played that game. Yeah, I'm gonna delete the comment now though. Just because I don't want people to see that. See, that's what I don't understand about like streamers having, I hate when live chat is on the actual stream. Like when they have it that way out, like, I just don't like that. I think it's like, because I'll say something that I regret or somebody else might. He did? Wait, did you ask, hey, what's going on? Or did you ask that about me? He did? What the hell? Weirdo? Damn, what the fuck? Dude, he was weird, dude. He was weird. He just... He he, he was weird. He just had... Like, he was a good shiny hunter and stuff, but like his reactions felt like forced. You know, he was a good shiny hunter. But he was always like... Oh, ho, ho, ho. It sounded like Santa Claus. He sounded like he was trying to be like Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Like, honestly, it's kind of, he was kind of, his reactions were kind of cringe. He's a good shiny hunter, though. He's a good, he's a successful person. He's just a successful person and a shell of asshole, basically. He's an asshole, he's a, she's a shell of a hairy butthole. And he's a successful person in that hairy butthole shell. He's an asshole. Okay, one second, one second. One second, Rui. It's okay, you can you can be a good person and admit that somebody's like successful, but they're a fucking shitty person. Just because somebody is like successful and good at something or like makes a lot of money or like made a good life for themselves doesn't mean they're like a good fucking person. Period, the end. Ew, that's weird, lazy. Yeah, he's a fucking, that YouTuber's a weirdo. That big head tuber. Yeah, he's weird, dude. Well, thank you for letting me know that about him, Dan. He made fun of your channel? You felt bad for yourself? Yeah, he's a bully, dude. He made fun of Chaos Live 09, too. That's one of the reasons why I, I wouldn't have reacted like that to him sh timing me out if he didn't do that to Chaos. I think he's low key racist. I think he's actually racist. Cause I mean, he comes from like a white privileged family and like he was friends with this like other black guy back when he played Pokemon Go. And apparently they had a falling out. Apparently the guy was toxic, but there's two sides to every story. And he was really treating my friend like shit. It was during the time where Black Lives Ladders was a thing. And like they had a falling out. So I wonder if he was like super racist, you know? Anyways, so that is it for this stream. Um, I am going to, hey, um, Stargamer, can you grab the link for Donkey Vaughn? I would love to raid him. Guys, um, there's only two people here. Um, hashtag Pokey Guitarist Jake Raid. 
Guys, go ahead and copy. Copy that right there. Copy that hashtag right there. We are going to raid bon Donkey Bond whenever, whenever, um, whenever, uh, whenever Star Gamer X. Sorry, I'm tired. Can't even think. Whenever Star Gamer X is ready. Thank you, dude. All right, guys, that's a raid. Let's get him. Raid time. There you go. Copy and paste that, guys. I'll see you then. I'm not ending right now. I'll end in a second. I have to refresh because. Hold on. One second. I'll get. I'll go in a second. My chat's not loading. Here we go. Alright guys, I'm going to bed. Good night. Thank you for being here all I do, I do. Logan Hurst, exciting out. Rock on stay, but I'll bite. Good night.